Hey guys, and welcome back to the last two matches of this FIFA 20 career mode. Um, this is episode 43. And we look at the leading scorers in the Premier League right now real quick. Paul Pogba up top, Timu Werner, Harry Kane, Aguero, Epe Rashford, and the list goes on and on as you can see. Uh, so today's first match, still behind closed doors at Stamford Bridge, we take on Chelsea. This is sure to be a tough one. Um, they are a few points ahead of us. I forget how many. Um, so if we want them getting to one of these top spots, this is a must win for us here. And it will be no small feat. Chelsea's a top team. Tough, a tough out, you could say. So there they go with the 4-3-3. Solid team up front. And we'll go with our 4-4-1-1 with Harris and Icardi up top. And here we go. A must win for the Villa Boys. Oh, we get it out early on. Shot blocked. Oh, a golden opportunity early on. Harris is so upset that he uh, possessed it. <laughs> project some kind of X-Men uh, ability out there. So we fast forward a little bit. Sanchez to Icardi. He shoots and he scores. And yes, a much needed first goal here. Villa takes the 1-0 lead and we celebrate. Nice pass from Sanchez. Definitely wasn't shooting with him from his last attempts that have just uh, gone you know, way off target. So Shooting with him is not really an option right now. So now Chelsea on the attack, 35 minutes in. Out to Kovacic. Nice fake shot into Conte. Conte to Morata. Nice back heel. Shoots and Jorginho just wide right. Oh, how lucky we are. Beats Mueller, but I mean, it is just inches off. So 40 minutes down. Villa boys are on the attack. Get it to Bailey. Beautiful pass to Harris. Shoots and he scores. What a goal there. Going left. Shoots right. Beats the defender. Uh, I guess he's rocking the baby here. Uh, I'm not sure what, what they're doing here. But we love it because it means it's a goal. Nice pass there. Bailey. Nice ball. Just a beautiful goal. That is Harris's 12th of the season in the Premier League. He'll probably end up man of the match if we win this one like he always does. So Chelsea on the attack here. Just kind of walking the ball straight up. Nobody's attacking. Shoots. Saved by Mueller. Nice save from Mueller, who has played extremely well these last few games. Can't really uh, knock him too much on anything lately. The corner comes in. We clear that one out and grab possession. So 68 minutes in. Chelsea with the ball. And on the attack right outside the box. In the box, shoots. And he scores. He beats Mueller to the right to make it 2-1 uh, Villa. And there's still plenty of time for them to equalize, which would ruin all of my plans. That was a nice shot. Sliced away. Jorginho gets his goal. It was only a matter of time. He kept getting closer and closer. So now just a few minutes left. Chelsea on the attack. Pulisic to Morata. He shoots and nice save from Mueller. May have saved uh, our season for one more game too. So Morata, Morata uh, comes out and Luis Suarez comes in. He might give him a late goal being that he... At one time was a super beast at scoring. So we grab possession. We kind of hold on to it. Get it to Wesley. Terrible pass. Wesley keeps possession though. And that is the final whistle. And we take the 2-1 win against Chelsea at Stanford Bridge. Huge, huge win for us. Get the three points. We keep them from getting points. And now with just one match left, we take on Newcastle, which uh, I don't know. <laughs> the pressure's going to be on. I don't know what to think about this one. 
this one could uh, we could win easily or we could lose a heartbreaker you never know so we take a look around the grounds and there's the standings we're still in seventh transfer offer from again comes in um, if it, that's a lot of money he's 27 and an 80 overall so not gonna probably not gonna increase at all not much so if they give us enough money I mean 72 million that is enough I'm gonna ask for more to see if we can get a few more out of them but if not we're gonna take the 72 million and let John McGinn go so that is all they're willing to pay 72.4 million and we will take that because uh, with 72 million we could definitely buy someone that is way that's younger and probably over 80 overall so that's kind of a no-brainer so we'll do a tally and see how much we have in that transfer window coming up but it should be a lot and then we'll see what we plan to do and what positions we plan to upgrade uh, definitely want to get a keeper I'm sure strikers were good uh, maybe some center backs or right back or we'll see so we take a look at the youth prospects coming in uh, we always have one scout who has some good ones and then one scout that is pretty terrible and we reject all of his so transfer offer for Douglas Louise he's still young and 81 overall so we're gonna keep him around he's played nice defensively for us and gets gets goals here and there for us so I'm gonna take a look at the table so we're currently sitting seventh and we're three behind Chelsea for that fifth spot and now we'll jump to our last match of the season against Newcastle at Villa Park the boys are ready no fans to cheer us on uh, so we'll do our best to get pumped for this one this is a uh, if we lose we definitely don't have well if we lose I think we'd be in like the uh, the qualifying we'd have to qualify for the Europa League maybe uh, if we win and Chelsea lose then I think we would be in the fifth spot but we'll see where it takes us so we're 30 minutes in it's still nil nil McGinn with the ball at his feet gets it to Harris Harris that Cardi shoots blocked gets the rebound and scores and that is one nil Aston Villa huge goal here it's already 35 minutes in to the match in a must win scenario nice pass to Icardi great save initially and the rebound goes right back to him so he just taps it in for his 16th goal of the year in the Premier League so here we are 38 minutes Harris to Icardi back to Icardi shoots oh man off the bar and just skirts skirts the goal line that is terrible hopefully that does not come back to haunt us missing out on that second goal so your Triore gets it to Harris Harris to Loftus cheek he shoots and it's saved by the new castle keeper and it stays 1-0 a few minutes before the half throw in just a couple minutes maybe we can get one last attack here Loftus Cheek and Dicardi. Beautiful back heel to Harris. Oh, and another great save from the Newcastle keeper. And there we go. Go look at uh, the earlier attempt just outside. So here comes the corner from Bailey. Headed, bounces, and easily saved. And that would take us to halftime. So here we are, 60 minutes in. Traore to Wesley to Loftus Cheek. Shoots near post and it's saved by the Newcastle keeper and it stays 1-0 60 minutes in 30 minutes to go corner comes in from Bailey and it's cleared out we do keep possession but nothing uh, comes from it so here it's 68 minutes in Newcastle on the attack 
Nobody seems to want to get in front of these people. They shoot and they beat Mueller and they equalize with just about 20 minutes to go. This was not good. This is not good at all. Longstaff gets the goal and we're all tied up. Uh, if we only get one point, I don't think, I think we lose out on everything. Uh, not 100% sure on that, but we're playing this game as if it's a must win to get in any kind of uh, European football play. So here we are, 70 minutes, lost his cheek with the ball. Loses possession, gets it back. Out to Digne, to John McGinn. I mean, they are just all over our guys today. McGinn into Harris, shoots. And that one was saved too. The Newcastle keeper is playing a heck of a game here today. Bailey with the corner. Cleared out by Newcastle, and that'll be a throw-in. So here we are, 85 minutes in. Newcastle on the attack. Oh my God, wide open goal here. He shoots, and thankfully Mueller saves that one. I thought for sure they were going to be scoring. Longstaff comes off. Bailey comes off for row. And Darby with the corner. Uh, kind of clear, but Newcastle keeps it. In the box, pass to Almiron, and he scores, and oh my god. Oh, not what I wanted to have happen here. Gets it on the left foot, goes near post and scores his fifth goal of the season. How terrible is that? So can we get one last chance here? to equalize and at least grab a point. I don't know if that helps us at all. Harris gets tackled. We lose possession. Newcastle with the ball. Will that last chance come to us or not? And it does not look like it. They go out wide and they're killing time and we grab the ball, pass it, and there's the final whistle. Last match of the season, we go down 2-1 to Newcastle at home. When everything was riding on this game, the boys simply did not show up to play. Patrick Harris goes to his knees heartbroken, as they should be, because we dominated this game stats-wise, but we go down 2-1. to one. Terrible, terrible, terrible. We look around Everton with the draw. I don't think anybody uh, really helped us out after questions. just that quick glance. Uh, Villa is finally defeated. <laughs> we were <laughs> defeated long, long ago. Uh, unfortunately for your team, Newcastle United managed to uh, get the winner in the last few minutes. We were just unlucky today, and that's how it goes. It seems the match against uh, what led to this loss. <laughs> Uh, they scored more goals than us. That's what it boils Thanks, down that's to. All the questions. So we're going to leave. Let's see. So McGinn's happy to play. He always plays. I don't know. Just another FIFA glitch. Uh, and a little minor injury. So not nothing to worry about there. $152 million from the Premier League. So we're going to leave this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and drop a like. And until next episode, take care.